Hi everybody, Rochelle here from Quebec Cyclidé. Today I will give you some tips on how to deal with African cichlid bullies in your aquarium. African cichlids are some fabulously colored fish, but if you've already kept them, you've probably struggled with aggression in your tank. First of all, let me explain why African cichlids are aggressive. It's their natural behavior. Contrary to popular belief, fish aren't dead-eyed passive creatures. They have complex social behaviors, and we should keep these in mind when we're setting up our aquarium. When it comes to African cichlids, each group is ruled by a hierarchy. How do you become the alpha male of a hierarchy? Easy, by showing off your strength to the other fish. This includes finding off the other males to guarantee that perfect spot in the tank and showing off to the females to show them just how tough you are and what a great spot in the tank you just got. Keep in mind, this behavior is acceptable in fish but should not be replicated in humans. When it comes time to breed, testosterone levels go through the roof. You'll notice a usually peaceful fish will become aggressive when this time comes. They will toss all the other fish aside just to guarantee a nice spot where they will dance with their female. If ever during their dance another fish should come along, usually I think it's because they're curious, they're wondering, ooh, what's happening, looks like fun, and want to join into the orgy, well, they, they will usually push them aside because it's a two-partner dance. A couple of months ago, I was lucky enough to catch my Sirtokara murai, my dolphin cichlids, in the act. I'll post a link in the video description for you to check it out. The easiest way, the first thing that you're going to have to do to prevent aggression in your tank is to buy fish that are compatible together. African cichlids are not compatible with any other fish community fish, uh, American cichlids even, they're technically not compatible. Some people mix them, I don't suggest it. Even within African cichlids, they're not compatible together. Also, some have to be kept alone, some in schools, some in couples. It really changes from fish to fish. So do your research beforehand on your fish's requirements. Here is a general rule of thumb. Peacocks and haps are compatible. You can keep them either in couples, of the same species, schools of the same species, uh, male only, they're the easiest ones. They're also compatible with caution with certain um, African cichlid carnivores from Lake Tanganyika. Embunas from Lake Malawi are compatible with other embunas. Keep them in schools of four or more. They are also compatible with Lake Tanganyika herbivores. As for Lake Tanganyika herbivores, they should not be kept with Lake Tanganyika carnivores. Behavior, diet, everything's different. Do not keep those together. Lake Tanganyika carnivores can be kept either in a couple or in a school, depending on each fish. So do your research before adding them. As for Lake Victoria fish, they're pretty versatile. They can go in practically any Malawi tank. Uh, it's just that between them, they might be aggressive. Like I said, this is just a general rule of thumb. Uh, it can help you start out, but you're gonna have to do a lot more research. And conveniently, I have a lot of videos on the subject. At the moment, I have a Mbuna video, Olonokara, Haps, and a video for the Frontosa Aquarium. So check those out, and in all those videos, there is a huge segment on compatibility and their behavior. Another great way of preventing African cichlid aggression is by buying fish that are big enough for your aquarium. If a fish gets too big for their aquarium, well, I practically guarantee that they will become aggressive towards the other fish mates. They're not well, they feel stuck, they feel like they're in a prison. I have some videos in the making of how many fish per tank per uh, group of fish, so that'll be coming in the future weeks. Once you've chosen your fish, a great way to avoid aggression towards the new fish is, and I know I'm really making this hard on you, you're gonna have to buy many fish at once. Of course, if you put one fish in, it's not guaranteed that everyone will attack it, but you prevent a lot of aggressivity when you add multiple fish at the same time. This is especially true if you're adding smaller fish to your tank. It's not guaranteed that your bigger fish will eat them, but since there are many, they'll be able to hide and the aggression will be dissipated throughout the group. So you can tell that to your spouse when they say, I think you've bought enough fish for today, honey. Mm -mm. 
Obviously, if you put a small fish in with a big frontosa, well, I mean, they fit in his mouth. It's not aggression, it's just plain bad luck. Bad luck for your fish, not for you. You should have known better. Another great way of preventing aggressivity is to overpopulate. The more fish there are in your aquarium, the calmer it is. If your aquarium is in overpopulation, though, make sure that you adjust your maintenance as well. Make a little more water changes. If you're already doing them once a week, maybe just take out a little bit more water. This way you remove the excess nitrates. On the contrary, if you only keep a couple of fish in your tank, the chances are greater that they will either hide all the time because they'll be protecting the little the big territory they have so they'll always be trying to hide there or they will fight a lot and this is especially true with trophies and with embunas those definitely overpopulate the aquarium with those with peacocks haps and lake tanganyika carnivores this is less the case First of all, I want you to sit in front of your aquarium and observe it. Just observe how they are doing, especially if you just added a fish in the tank. It's normal that the others be curious and they try to test its limits out a little bit, maybe a little snip at the tail or something like that. This shouldn't last long, maybe an hour, sometimes less. Don't let it go too long if you notice that the fish is in distress. Signs of distress include bleeding, broken fins or awkward swimming like on the side a little bit those are signs that your fish needs your help if on the other hand it's not because you just added a new fish they are indeed breeding it's normal that they're aggressive they will not kill their tank mates and usually if you have enough decorations the other fish they'll learn i mean they'll see the male chasing them like a crazy fish and they'll just hide observe it to make sure it doesn't kill anybody but they usually don't if ever, in any case, a fish shows signs of distress, here's what you should do. Isolate the attacker. Oh yes, not the one that's being attacked, because if you leave the attacker in the tank and you take out the one that's being attacked, it'll just go to the next one. So you can either, the best way is to create a hospital tank. Check out my video about sponge filters. In that video, I explain how to set up a hospital tank quickly and easily. If you don't have a tank at the moment and you're stuck, you really have to do something, you can put them either in an isolation box, granted that it is big enough that the fish can move a little bit. If it's a, if the fish is as big as the isolation box, I highly suggest that you don't isolate them in there. It can be dangerous. And if you're really stuck, you don't have anything, well, a net works as an isolation box as well. Of course, you can't leave them in the net forever, but it's a good temporary fix. Once the aggressive fish is removed, the others have time to gather their strength and just whew, take a breather. If once you've taken out the male, there is one that is really in a dangerous condition. They're at the bottom of the tank, they're breathing rapidly, you see blood on them. Well, obviously isolate this fish too. The other fish might not attack it, but just putting it alone, it'll relax it a little bit and it will help heal. If its fins are broken a lot, you can use API Smellafix. That's a great product that helps heal the broken fins. If you have a Lake Malawi Embuna or a Lake Victoria tank, and those are the fish that are being aggressive, usually adding females for these fish will calm them down. Don't just add one, minimum two. It'll give them something else to do rather than fight all the time. They have three great hobbies, feeding, fighting, and f So if you're up to this point in the video and you still haven't gained control on your aquarium, another great way to help with aggressivity is to confuse the fish. Okay, so first of all, close the light so everyone can just chill, relax. Once this is done, change all the decorations around. If any of your fish have dug up some nice caves, break those up, move the cave elsewhere. This confuses the fish. They feel like they moved, so they're stuck looking for a new territory and usually this will create a whole new uh, equilibrium in your aquarium. If you have Embuna or Trophius and I'm telling you to move the decorations and you're telling me that you don't have many decorations, these fish benefit from fully loaded tanks. So add some decorations in, that might help. The most amazing African cichlid aquascapes are rocky aquascapes. Ideally get the coral rocks because they help 
keeping the pH and the KH higher. Avoid as much as possible adding wood to your aquarium. The wood that is sold in most pet shops will lower the pH of the water, which is counterproductive. Often just adding one fish will completely change the harmony in the aquarium. I've also heard of aquarists who in desperate times removed all the decorations from the aquarium and the fish as well, put them in different buckets, especially, you know, you don't put the dominant male in with a lot of other tiny fish, you know, separate those. Just kick everyone out, rescape completely the aquarium and then add the fish back in. Whenever you do this, always add the dominant ones in the end. That way, you know, you can either even wait a couple of minutes before adding them in. That way the others had time to settle in a little more. Usually this will create mass confusion. And if nothing worked until now, for sure this will help. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Has this problem ever affected you in your aquarium? Probably for watching this video. Tell me about it in the comment section. I love reading what you have to say. If you like this video, there is plenty more where that came from. I post a new video on every Thursday. So make sure to subscribe to the channel not to miss a single one. If you want more fishy content in between my weekly videos, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, on Twitter, and I have a great website where you can shop online and see all the fish I have for sale. I ship throughout Canada. If you like this fabulous Cichlid Geek t-shirt that I am wearing, there's also Fish Geek available in my Teespring store. The t-shirts can ship out worldwide. Every sale encourages me to continue doing what it is that I am doing. So thank you to everyone who encourages me every week. You guys are the best. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye!